I'm going to start off with this sentence. This group of words for a book. I'm going to talk as if uh, you've watched my other videos. So this is for those who have already studied my channel and know a little bit about syntax. So for is a non-tangible contract word. A is a non-tangible contract word. Book, as we certified in a previous video, is tangible contract. So how would you syntax this sentence? I've given some syntax values that uh, as bank banker of this dry erase board I've provided for you. So this is how you would syntax this. This is how I would syntax it. I'm sorry, not how you would, but how I would. Position lodial fact. We bank the values of five and six for these non-tangible contract words because we give closure to their function within this construct. And then book is a fact. It is a seven in this construct. That is how you would use an A, which by itself in the fiction babble would be no contract. Here, it's given a function and a value as a lodio. Which book? A book. It could be the book. It could be his book. It could be my book. In this scenario, it is a book. What happens to the values if I put this Now what happens to the syntax in this scenario? It becomes a 4134. Four. Why? Because there is no hyphen here. If I put a hyphen here, now it connects this fact with this fact, and I would also underline it, brings it back into the correct sentence structure construct domain. And now it is a compound fact, book hyphen story. What happens if I take this word away? Now what happens to the syntax? We have a non-tangible, tangible, tangible. Adverb, adjective, pronoun. A pronoun represents any word in the English language. An adjective represents any word in the English language modifying any word in the English language. A is an adverb. It's a non-verb. So we have a book story. Now we have is. Now what happens to the syntax values? Is gets modified into a pronoun representing any word in the English language. Story is modifying any word in the English language. Story is any word in the English language pushing the modification forward into this pronoun. Now what happens to the syntax? Now we go back to book story, which is the three, four. Is is an adverb, and now it is a dangling participle verb. Is is an adverb, a non-verb, modifying the verb of our thinking into it, which could be anything, any word in the English language. It, quite literally. I've had students come in and say, that if you see
say, for example, the word the, that you would automatically put that as an adverb, which is not true. The only word, the only part of speech that you can come in and label without worrying about anything around it is the conjunction. Because the conjunction is a neutral function, not affected by anything around it. So in this scenario, now we have an adverb, verb, conjunction, verb, adverb, verb scenario. A is an adverb modifying the verb book and is a conjunction that's just connecting the two fiction tangible contract words, verbs. So adverb, verb, conjunction, verb. And then we have another adverb modifying our verb of the thinking into it. I hope this video was useful. It's kind of an experiment in coming into different levels of syntax rather than just concentrating on one facet. I brought a few facets into it and hope you found it useful. Let me know. Uh, you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Let me know what you think. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, share. I appreciate your viewership. Thank you very much for watching. Aloha.